I truly hope that you are having a wonderful morning. And I hope that these words can be of encouragement to you. Make sure, whether it be five minutes, 10 minutes, or even three minutes, make sure that you spend time today talking to God, talking to Yah, our Heavenly Father. He misses you. He misses you. And I'm not just talking to the person that doesn't talk to him at all. I'm talking to the person that only visits him once a week at church or at your assembly or maybe once a week in your car. He wants to talk to us, commune with us daily. There's so much that the Holy Spirit wants to share with us and reveal with us. But it requires communication. It requires relationship. It requires trust. If you were trying to develop a relationship with a young man or a young lady, you would talk to them more than once a week. You can't really get to know someone only talking to them once a week. It would take forever. So I want to encourage you to spend three minutes today talking to him, giving him praise, letting him know what's on your heart, the things that you need help with. Ask for his guidance. Ask for him to light your path, to lead the way. Make his heart happy. The reality is that we spend time where we want to spend time. If we want to get up five in the morning to work out because we want to get in shape, we do it. Why can't we spend time with God? If we truly understand that he has given us everything everything that we need in order to be successful on this earth so that we can enter into his kingdom why would you not want to take advantage of that why would we not want to take advantage of that i'm speaking to the parents where we are raising our kids and telling them to trust god to trust yah to believe in him to worship and praise him, but we're not showing them how. They're not seeing throughout the week us praising and praying and warring and reading scripture and applying the word to our life daily to overcome challenges. How are they going to learn how to really have a relationship with him if we are not showing them? We can't just tell them. It should be a part of our daily lifestyle. And that's what I had to realize for myself as a mom, as a wife, a mother of two young boys. I was raised in the church like many. Many are raised in the church. But the reality is that God, the Holy Spirit, never enters their heart. They go because they're required to go because their parents make them go. And as they get older, become adults, they stray away because they never build a connection with our Heavenly Father. So I challenge you today, whether if you're a mother, a father, no kids, I challenge you today to spend time with him. And if you have kids, I challenge you today to take your kids and pray with them today. To take your kids and go home and pray and play some praise music or worship music and just have a good time just worshiping and praising God with them. I challenge you that if you have a struggle today or a situation that you find a scripture and you meditate and you stand on that scripture and if you have kids, you show your kids that scripture and how you're going to meditate and pray and stand on that word that is in the Bible, that it will come to pass and let them watch miracles happen in your life. They have to see it, not just hear it. We have to see it, not just hear it. So I pray that this word is encouraging to you and I hope that you have a wonderful day.